Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We have a massive update with Mike Pence today that you do not want to miss. He's finally come out and exposed the truth. You do not want to miss the video. So thumbs it up. Make sure to click the thumbs up button so more people can see it. And click subscribe. Did you know that there are 70% of you watching who aren't subscribed? I know I've had to make different YouTube channels here and there, so it's my fault. But please, if you could help me make up for my lack of transparency and just click the subscribe button, or if you don't have a YouTube account, just make one real quick, click subscribe. It's kind of got to play the YouTube game. Now, I do have a website, thepatrioticjournal.com, where I post exclusive content for you guys. So it's just for you guys and anybody who wants to read the updates. I made a four new articles. I just posted one about Donald Trump's arrest, the truth that you need to know. So go ahead and join the site and right now until the end of the month, we've got four more days. Uh, use code Trump to unlock a free year of membership so you don't gotta pay. And it's the best way to support the show. Okay, so, ooh, almost forgot the Bible verse. Oh God, you guys would get crazy mad at me if I forgot the Bible verse, so. Almost forgot that. Comment amen if you like the Bible verses. This comes from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. There's a beautiful song. It's like, I lean not on my own understanding for my life is in the hands of the maker of heaven. And I give it all to you, God, trust in that. I don't want to get copyrighted because it's a beautiful song. Go check that song out. It's called Lean Not On My Own Understanding uh, by a gentleman named Will Reagan. Beautiful, chill, chilling song. Well, it'll give you chills. So Mike Pence, my friends, came out and spoke about Donald Trump's arrest. Mike Pence says arresting Trump would be, a, we have a lot of updates with Pence, so do not skip one second of this video. If you guys do, I'll be forever angry at you. I can tell when you skip ahead, I, I can see it. I'm just kidding, I can't, but. <laughs> Mike Pence says arresting Trump, this is the first update, would be a politically charged prosecution. Former president, or former vice president Mike Pence surprised me and he actually supporting Donald Trump with this. Funnily enough, I mean, he is Trump's former vice president. You'd think he would support him, but lately he's been saying in the interviews, oh, would you would you uh, support Donald J. Trump if he ran for president? He goes, well, you know, I'll th I think there's somebody else I'd, I'd vote for instead. Look at this interview real quick before we get into the updates. This is absolutely just freaking disgusting. If Donald Trump is the Republican nominee for president in 2024. Will you vote for him? Well, there might be somebody else I'd prefer more. And then he's getting a standing, of, you know, an applaud from MSNBC. Well, there might be somebody I prefer more. <laughs> it's not funny, bro. Shut up. That's what it literally, literally inside my voice when I hear him talking. I can't play the rest of that video. Mike Pence, Donald J. Trump chose you to be his vice president, now you're going out and speaking out against him? Yeah, there might be somebody else I'd prefer more. Ha, 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 ha. Shut up. Mike Pence, uh, you know, surprisingly enough, came out and said, the former vice president didn't push back against Trump's calls, but he said, uh, think demonstrators understand they need to do so in peacefully and lawfully matter. Former vice president Mike Pence on Sunday decried the possibility of the arrest of his former boss, Donald Trump, saying that it would be a politically charged prosecution. In post to his social media platform, Truth Social, on Saturday, Trump predicted that he would be arrested on Tuesday, citing illegal leaks, which a spokesperson later clarified meant media reports by NBC News and other outlets. In an interview on ABC News this week, Pence said he viewed the possible criminal charges facing the former president as a priority of the radical left. Mm. Feels just it feel it just feels like a politically charged prosecution here. And I, for my part, I just feel like it's not what the American people want to see, he said. I'm taken aback at the idea of indicting a former president of the United States at a time when there's a crime wave in New York City. The fact that the Manhattan District Attorney thinks that indicting President Trump is his top priority. Um 
So pretty funny that Mike Pence is actually, you know, defending Donald John Trump here. I, I had to click this, this and share with you guys. In other news though, Mike Pence is getting closer to a 2024 decision. This just came out on the Hill. Headlining, headlining, they're headlining Mike Pence. Now, you might think, who the heck would vote for Mike Pence? Well, there was a recent poll that just came out and Mike Pence was in fifth place among Republican primary, uh, rep uh, rep rep Republican primary presidential preferences for 2024. Donald John Trump, number one. Ron DeSantis, number two. Uh, was that Nikki Haley, number three. Mike Pompeo, four. And then Mike Pence, five followed by Liz Cheney. So Mike Pence all the way down next to Liz Cheney. My God, if you're voting for Mike Pence or Liz Cheney, you're done. You're gross. Who is gonna vote for Liz Cheney? I hope nobody does, but I mean, 1% of these people would. Um, so yeah, according to The Hill, former Vice President Mike, Mike Pence on Thursday said he's getting closer to a decision on whether to run for president in 2024. Uh, Pence told Sean Hannity on Fox News that he and his wife, Karen Pence, of course Mike Pence's wife's name is Karen. That is too ironic. Have been praying about whether to enter the presidential race, drawing applause from a live studio audience. Who the heck is applauding Mike Pence? I'm sorry, but it's so random. Liberals, maybe? But it's Fox News. I don't know. I actually did hear there was some weird stuff going on Fox News, like, I feel it. I heard, I heard there was some stuff going on with Trump and Fox News. I don't really even watch Fox News anymore. I mean, I do to like get news, but then I don't, I look at other places for my news, if that makes sense. So like, I see what they're talking about, but then I go, you know, I don't know. I feel like Fox News used to be so awesome. Um, Mike Pence said, we're getting closer to a decision. We've gotten a lot of, a, of encouragement around the country. I think this country is in a lot of trouble, Mike Pence said, but the truth of the matter is we, have to pr produce leadership in this country that will take our country back to the policies that left us stronger and more prosperous in the Trump-Pence years. And if we can play a part in that, we will. Well, guess what, Mike Pence? The reason that the country was prosperous was not because of you during the Trump-Pence era. It was because of Donald J. Trump. Am I right? Need I say more? The former vice president has also staked out his own lane on a handful of issues compared to GOP rivals. He's been outspoken that the U.S. should continue its support for Ukraine. Mike Pence wants to continue its support for Ukraine, while Governor Ron DeSantis and former President Donald Trump suggested it was not in the national interest to do so. Trump is a declared 2024 candidate, while DeSantis is expected to enter the race this spring. Um... So, uh, another, if you guys knew this, I did some investigating with uh, Mike Pence. Mike Pence, you know his book deal, So Help Me God, where basically he released a whole book just basically bashing Donald Trump. Oh, revealing the secrets. Mike Pence is exposing the truth about his time with Trump. Oh, golly gosh darn. I did some digging, my friends, and guess what? According to CNN Politics, Mike Pence signed a seven figure deal. So Mike Pence got over a million bucks for doing this garbage. <sighs> what disgusting. Mike Pence signs a seven figure book deal, but Trump and other administration alums face a tough market in publishing. Oh yeah, Trump faces a tough market in publishing. Dude, CNN, you suck. Mike Pence signed a multi million dollar two book deal with publisher Simon and Schuster, making one of the first alums. A former president, Donald Trump's inner circle to ink such a lucrative contract. Two people in the publishing industry tell CNN the former president's deal is worth seven figures, somewhere in the range of three to four million bucks. Oh yeah, Trump is struggling so much. Dude, Trump's released a dozen books. Dude's worth over a billion dollars. He's not struggling. Where do you guys get your news sources? Who's writing these articles? Jamie Gangle. CNN author. Um, so yeah, Mike Pence is coming out to speak in the University of Alabama, um, on April 11th. I don't know why that's newsworthy, but it's, uh, oh gosh, it's the Young Americans for Freedom. It's free and open to all. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. It's recommended to come well in advance. Seating is limited. First come, first serve. And Mike Pence is speaking. Why in the world 
And then the Young Americans for Freedom, I believe that was the same one that Michael Flynn spoke at. Could be wrong, but I believe there was like an interview with with him there. Was that was that it? Was that the one he spoke at? Oh, uh, maybe not. No. Young Americans for Freedom. Maybe this is kind of a liberal. No, cause because Oh, that's Young Americans Foundation. I don't know what the heck a Young Americans for Freedom is. Ben Shapiro spoke there, so he's he's conservative too. I don't know, but yeah, he's he's going to speak there for God knows who, God knows why. Um, on the event brights and on a poster is promoting Pence's appearance. The subhead banner reads, "Saving America from the woke left." Yeah, I'm sure Pence is going to do a great job at that. By he's wanting to send money to Ukraine. What do you mean? That's literally a totally left policy. How do you mean you're going to save America and then you're going to go? You want to try to run for president and then still send money to Ukraine? That's like. Again, that's a very liberal, like, thought process, ideology, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I mean, Pence has been in, yeah, he's a longtime Republican. He launched his career in 2000, was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives at age 40. Dude spent a lot, a long time in, in office, and it's another, it, it reminds me of somebody by the name of Joe Biden. These are both... Uh, what do they call them? Uh, career politicians. Their main experience is in politics. They never had really like real life experience working tons of different jobs. Like you might see somebody like Donald Trump. That's why a lot of people don't like old people in office. Trump is an exception because he hasn't been in office for like 50 years. Like Joe Biden has literally been in office for over 50 years. You hear a lot of people saying, oh, I, we, we don't, there should be an age limit on politicians. Like the reason they say that is because usually older people, they've been in office for 40, 50 years and they're not changing their minds. They're not change, they're not, it's hard to develop as a nation when you have people who've been in office for 40, like, like Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi, when did she, when did she uh, start in politics? She started in politics, answer my question, Google. Um, she started in politics, well, she, she became Speaker of the House in 2007. But I feel like she started earlier. Um, well, yeah, she became Speaker of the House. I mean, she, she had to be in there before. A timeline of Pelosi's career in Congress. They're probably gonna make me pay for this stupid article. Um, Pelosi won't, here's a look back at her career from 1987. Yeah, congressional candidate Nancy Pelosi waves at her campaign headquarters in 1987. That's 46 years. Like, Nick Pelosi, guys, you realize Nancy Pelosi's been in office for 46 years? She wins the nomination to succeed, yeah, in 1987. I mean, this is a great example. Joe Biden's been in office for over 50 years. Nancy Pelosi's been in office for over 40 years. These people, almost 50 years, 46 years, these are the people, well, I guess 45 years to be technical, because June 1987, we're not technically in quite yet in June. I know Nancy Pelosi. I don't know if she's retiring or what, but she's she's no longer a uh, um, Speaker of the House, right? Well, obviously Kevin McCarthy is, but um, anyways, I'm rambling at this point. That's the major update with Mike Pence 2024. Surprisingly came out and backed Trump on the whole arrest situation. And then he also is based, probably going to be running for president 2024. Wants, still wants to support sending money to Ukraine. Those are the major updates. Multi-million book deal he's signing. He's going around, he's, he's money hungry. He's trying to make some money. Just kind of uh, funny that he signs this deal right before people are talking about him potentially running for president. It sounds like he's just going around the country trying to do a money grab so for his whole book deal, but I could be wrong, just my assumptions. And uh, just just a normal dude sitting in his living room. I'm not an expert on this, so don't don't come at me if I'm wrong. Let me know if you made it to the end of the video by commenting, I made it to the end. I love seeing who made it to the end because it's like really cool because I, I see that you guys are my biggest supporters. If you do want to support me uh, in another way, you can go sign up for thepatrioticjournal.com. It's free to sign up, when you, but you got to use code TRUMP at sign up. So click on start free trial, use code TRUMP, you get a free year of membership. If you want to cancel it on day 364, that's fine. <laughs> go check it out. Go try it out. Uh, I just posted four new articles. I just posted two on Donald Trump's arrest, like the truth of what you need to know about it. 
and I make tons of stuff on there. So go check out the patriotedrone.com. Go sign up. Use code TRUMP for, to unlock a free year of membership, and it's the best way to support the show. You guys are great. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye now.